A small engine is the general term for a wide range of small displacement, low-powered internal combustion engines used to power lawn mowers, generators, concrete mixers and many other machines that require independent power sources. Most small engines are single-cylinder, with a few V-twin units. Although much less common, there have been small wankel rotary engines manufactured for use on lawn mowers and other such equipment. Small engines are also used for wide ranges of low displacement motor vehicles, mainly motorcycles, scooters, ATVs, and go-karts. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Power range The engines, which may be of two- or four-stroke design, are small in both physical dimensions and power output, relative to larger automobile engines. Power output ranges from less than 1 to about 15 hp. The smallest of all are used in handheld garden machinery, such as string trimmers and chainsaws, which may be as small as 25 cc in piston displacement. The most common are four-stroke air-cooled single-cylinder engines running on either petrol or diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Working cycles Engines for small machinery that must be hand-carried, such as string trimmers and chainsaws, are usually a two-stroke design, which is lighter for any given power output. However, two-stroke engines create a relatively large amount of air pollution and noise pollution, and so are beginning to be supplanted by four-stroke units. <laughs> <laughs> Design Compared to modern vehicle engines, small engines are relatively simple in design. Capital cost is usually more important than fuel economy, running costs or longevity, thus encouraging simple designs. Valves Valves are most commonly actuated overhead, in an OHV configuration. An example of one of the best known and most popular designs is the Honda GX range, dating from the early 1980s. The side of valve arrangement still persists, owing to its simplicity for both manufacture and basic maintenance. A few engines, such as the Honda GC series, now use overhead cam valve gear, driven by a timing belt. This engine also uses an unusual monoblock design where the cylinder head, block, and half the crankcase share the same casting, termed uniblock by Honda. Ignition Electrical systems for these engines are usually simple and minimal, mostly to avoid the need for a battery. Many uses require the engines to be ready for immediate use, even after long standby storage and the risk of a flat battery. Most small engines are equipped with capacitor discharge ignition, that—like the magneto that preceded it—is an ignition system that does not require a battery. <laughs> Starting. Electric starting is available for small engines and is found primarily on high-feature garden machinery and larger generators particularly where there is already a complex electrical system and there may be a need for auto starting on demand. However, a self-retracting rope pull mechanism called a recoil starter is the predominant method of starting small engines. It does not require a battery to power a starter motor, nor an alternator to keep a battery charged. Before the invention of the recoil starter, a notched pulley was attached to the engine's flywheel. The operator would manually wind a rope around the pulley, then jerk the rope to rotate the engine so that it would start. Another starting method briefly popular in the 1960s was the impulse or wind up starter. These were operated by winding a heavy spring by means of a rotating crank handle equipped with a sprag clutch, then releasing the spring's tension by means of a lever or knob so that it would spin the engine. 
These were discontinued when safety problems became apparent, it was possible to leave the starter wound up and ready to start the engine unintentionally, even long after the crank was wound up, if the release were jarred. Still's ergo start system is a compromise between the two systems, using a pull rope and a spring-loaded coupling between the rope pulley and the flywheel. The engine is started by pulling the rope as usual. While the system reduces operator stress significantly, it cannot be left cocked and inadvertent starting is not possible. Topic: <laughs> Fuel system Fuel systems are usually simple, at least for petrol engines. The fuel tank may be placed above a float-type carburetor so that gravity is adequate to bring fuel to the carburetor, avoiding the need for a fuel pump. Alternatively, the tank may be placed below a carburetor which uses engine vacuum or crankcase pressure pulsations to lift fuel into the carburetor. Float type carburetors can only be used when the engine is reliably vertical and without excessive vibration. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Governor. Most small engines have a governor to regulate and maintain the engine speed as constantly as possible despite changing load. Some engines also have an adjustable throttle by which the operator or the machine itself can alter the engine speed. Generally, the nominal throttle control does not directly control the opening of the carburetor throttle, but rather increases or decreases spring tension on the governor, which in turn regulates the engine speed higher or lower. Topic: <laughs> crankshaft Small engines may be configured with the crankshaft horizontal or vertical, according to the intended application. Vertical axis engines were developed for rotary lawnmowers, but the size of this large market has encouraged a supply of cheap engines and they are now used for other purposes too, such as generators. History Small engines date back to the early days of internal combustion engines. The first of a recognizably modern form date from the advent of motorcycles, where the engines were made by the same manufacturers. See also Non-road engine Small engine repair